nowadays the market of uh, uh, used EV batteries uh, is not yet uh, uh, well developed uh, because essentially the newest generation of EVs is not yet arrived at their end of life. However, in a few years it will be a pretty large market uh, that uh, open the questions uh, whether it's worth going the direction of recycling these batteries or using them in a second life application like the ones in power systems. At the DSL, we have a real scale microgrid that is a full replica of a benchmark. And we have the opportunity of using this microgrid to integrate second life batteries that are assembled and settled up by other partners of the project. The advantage of using this infrastructure is that we can operate the battery under real conditions and at the same time have a controlled experimental environment that is allowing us to test all the possible operating conditions of the battery. So the DSL will contribute to the project by developing methods that will enable the optimal use of second life batteries in grid applications. We will not only take into account the state of the battery at the beginning of the second life usage, but also how the battery will age along the second life usage and how we will optimally use this information during the operation of the system. At the same time, we're developing sizing methods of these batteries that can be used by utilities and industry players like BKW and sun 2 wheel The interest of the DSL is to make available to the partners of the project our long expertise in modeling of batteries and in general energy storage systems and uh, their coupling with the optimal control techniques. Uh, these are main pillars of our research activities since a decade, uh, and I do believe this will be an asset for the whole project. We will proceed in two stages. In the first stage, we will characterize the aging model of the battery by measuring the electrical impedance of the battery by using a technique called electrical impedance spectroscopy. Then, once we will develop a, a parametric model of the aging, we will use it in order to optimally control the battery again in the second life application. There are two main characteristics that the battery has at the macroscopic level. The first one is the energy capacity, namely how many watt hours you can store into the battery at different charging and discharging rates. And the second characteristic is the power at which you can charge and discharge the battery. Now, these two parameters, these characteristics, are influenced by the aging of the battery. Therefore, modeling how they evolve, it's fundamental to steer optimally the control of the battery in the first, but above all, in the second life application. And the CSCM is developing not only the hardware, but also the software to do onboard electrical impedance spectroscopy. At CSCM, we have developed a new system that is capable of monitoring in real time the battery and its state of health in the field. The system gathers additional sensor information and combines suitable data models with smart algorithms. The principle is simple. If the algorithms are the brain of the operation managing the system, then CSCM sensors are the eyes informing the brain about the battery's current state of health. CSM system is made with cost-effective electronics and within CircuBat, we intend to validate the performance of second life batteries in the field. When a battery is reaching the end of its life in an electrical vehicle, still has a 70 or 80% of its capacity. Therefore, it can be used into other applications like those into electrical power grids. This is also allowing to compress the carbon footprint of the battery since these devices uh, require processes which are quite CO2 intensive. So the main outcome uh, of this work package of the project is to develop uh, technologies and methodologies that will allow to certify a battery for a second life application. We will certify not only the capacity of the battery at the beginning of its second life, but also its capacity retention along multiple years of operation. We do believe that this is feasible and will be the ultimate goal of the project.